I would like to bring up uh, our uh, Stanford's defense coordinator, Mr. Lance Anderson. Coach. Like Coach Pritchard, I'm, I'm excited to be here. This is my third Sun Bowl as well. Uh, so we had 2009 against Oklahoma, 2016 against North Carolina, and then looking forward to this year's matchup against uh, Pittsburgh. One of the things I probably like most about the Sun Bowl is, I mean, I'm a huge college football fan. I, I love the game of football, love college football. I mean, this is the second oldest bowl game. So just the history, the tradition, you look at some of the players that have played in this game, the teams have been a part of this. It's, it's fun to be part of this history and tradition. Um, I also like about this is, the whole community, this the whole El Paso area, is so invested and involved in this bowl game. You just you get here, you feel how important this bowl game is to the entire community, and that, that's fun to be a part of that as well. So, looking forward to being here. Uh, looking forward to all the activities and things going on uh, throughout the week. But most importantly, most excited about uh, the matchup with Pittsburgh. Uh, they're a good physical football team. They run the football well, so it's going to be a good challenge uh, for us. You know, defensively, we've been a little bit up and down, a little bit inconsistent. We've had some really good games, um, others where we didn't play maybe as well. So we're looking for that one last opportunity where we can go out and play some good football. We know it's going to be a you know tough physical matchup. Any questions? You anticipate them to kind of start by giving what you're good at and what they're good at with them as trying to establish the run. I, I think so. I mean, they've, they've run the ball really well uh, all year long. 2,000 yard rushers that are both, you know, big uh, physical running backs. A um, couple tight ends that are almost like offensive linemen. Uh, so I would expect that they would come out and, and try to run the football. You just had to look back at this season. What have you done best? I think uh, one of the things we've done, probably the best thing we've done throughout the year is that our guys have played hard. They've really bought in, you know, mentally to what we're doing. They understand the defense well. Uh, they're just time we need to execute better. We need to make more plays. We need to play a little bit more uh, physical. But I've really been pleased with the effort of our guys uh, all season long. Coach, uh, Pittsburgh similar to any team that you faced in the regular season or in the Pac-12, or is it just because they said that you know? The the conference that they participate in as opposed to the Pac-12, it's significantly different. Uh, I guess I'm asking you the same question in the other direction. Yes, I think, uh, you know, it, it is different. There's no question about that. But you go back to the beginning of the season, we opened the season with San Diego State. There was another, uh, you know, very run-oriented team, a lot of big personnel groups where they would put multiple tight ends and fullbacks on the field, very committed to running the football, you know, play action, bootlegs, big part of their game. Um, so there are definitely some similarities between, you know, what San Diego State did and I think what we can see for Pittsburgh. Lance, do you see much of a difference uh, in, in Pitt in terms of the last two games since they lost their starting center versus the first, I guess, whatever it was, 11 before that? You, you go back and you, you watch, uh, you know, the offensive line in those games. And I think the center was a, a good football player, so I think they definitely, you know, feel his loss. But as a unit, that, that's a very good group. It's a big physical group. Uh, so we expect them to play well. I think having this you know, month or so uh, time of preparation, I think that will allow them more time to kind of gel as a unit. I think that's so important uh, you know, on the offensive line. I think they got a lot of talented, big physical guys. So I, I, I expect that they would play well up front. Two more questions, please. Talk a little bit about your young corner, Vito. He's been playing pretty well for you. Uh, yeah, Paulson Adebo is a you know, tremendous talent. Uh, he's, he's a guy that we recognized shortly after we got here that uh, you know thought could be pretty special. Uh, you know, great length, runs really well, great ball skills. But you know, until the guy gets on the field and performs, you know, that is just potential. Um, but he has he has matched that potential this year. I think he's played at a at a high level, and you see in everything that he does. You see his you know you see his speed, you see his length, you see his ball skills. The other thing that I've been impressed with is just his willingness to tackle. Uh, you know, he does not shy away from contact. He's had some games this year where he's he's missed tackles. Uh, he understands that's a place where he needs to get better, but he never never shies away from contact. Always working to get better, and uh, well, I think he's uh, had a great season for us. But he's got a huge upside. He can he can be really special.